talking in this segment about champions, specifically the Wildcat champions from Portland. They're here to talk to us about an organization that started back in 20. 20. 20. That was 2020. Uh, and they did it because there was a need. There was a vacuum in this area of helping certain children in our community. Let's get everybody introduced. Uh, Lázaro Garcia, one of the coaches, and uh, helped start the program with, with Stephanie. Stephanie? And what's your name? Joey Chavez. Hi, Joey. Over here. Hi, I'm Coach Leah. Very good. I'm Kinsley. Good to have you guys here. Let's talk about champions. What is this program all about? Uh, it's about, uh, you know, we believe everybody deserves a place to play. And we didn't have a program like this before. And Stephanie reached out to me years back and asked me to help her start it. And being a father myself and, you know, being around baseball, it was, uh, there was only one answer I can give was yes. yes. So. It started with baseball, but you want to expand. I noticed that, you know, you want to add soccer um, and a basketball. I I believe. We, we just finished soccer. They just finished soccer. We just finished soccer. Yes. And mm -hmm. hopefully getting basketball. Absolutely. You want to expand this, but let's talk about the champions themselves. Who are the champions? Uh, champions are from all over the coastal bend. Yes, we're run from the city of Portland has sponsored us and they cover our insurance and we, we do um, work off of donations for jerseys and things like that. But our champions come from Portland, Ingleside, Taft ISD, um, from all over the coastal bend area. So it's a Portland ran program, but we accept anyone from the coastal bend area. Sure. And these children are children who uh, want to be out there who want yes. to participate in baseball, want to participate in soccer. And sometimes they just don't have the opportunity to until you guys stepped in, all right? Tell us more about, about your organization. We just, our mission statement is we just believe that everybody deserves a place to play. Yes. No matter if they have any, any, ty any type of issues or, or uh, they, we just want everyone to feel welcome and everyone to come out and just enjoy the camaraderie. Laz and I talk about it all the time. Wednesdays are our favorite nights. Um, just the, the love of the community and the outpouring and just to spend time with our champions and their parents and our whole champions family. We call it a family now. Mm -hmm. Our whole champions family, it's just a wonderful organization. I'm glad that you mentioned family. I think with every organization, family is built with uh, volunteers and the staff. Let's talk about Kinsley. I wanna know more about your buddy. Tell us what a buddy is. So I get the opportunity to be a buddy and we get to motivate, encourage, and give a helping hand we can on the, with the buddies and when they're on the field or on the court, we get to be right there next to them, helping them with whatever they need. Cheering them on. Yes, cheering obviously, them on. Obviously. And coach, tell me about your job as a coach. So uh, my job is just be there to support the players. Um, sometimes I'm Stephanie's catcher, so she's pitching to the kids. Nice. I'm trying to be the catcher. Um, I've done some announcements as well, so announcing the players, kind of how they're moving around the field, and really just be in there to help encourage um, the players. Nice. So, and, and I want to say that one of the things that struck me the most from the first time I volunteered was the parents. This is, this is an hour for these parents to sit in the stands and like a true parent, sport parent, watch their kids out on the field playing ball. And that's the greatest part of this whole thing. And you know what? It may sound simple to a lot of folks out there, but this is a major undertaking and an even bigger accomplishment for the players, okay. for the children that are out there that want to participate. So what's happening next? What's next on the agenda for you guys? Uh, we're in the middle of, uh, we just started baseball. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get that se that season you know mm -hmm. done and hopefully like I said get into basketball for the young athletes so what does your organization need do you or do you need more volunteers do you need more coaches uh, well we run our programs run on all you know the it's all free to the to the parent to the families so uh, we all hustle you know there's not just us we have a few other coaches that we all hustle to get sponsorships and uh, donations from you know the community we've been blessed to have you know we've had some great sponsors that have helped us out but you know it's times of times of getting get sure. hard and you know everything's more expensive so Absolutely. you know trying to expand the sports it's we need you know basketball equipment you know baseball equipment soccer equipment and all that other good stuff sure. so. it, it gets expensive it yes. does so do you have a fundraiser coming up uh, we did a fundraiser in the fall, okay. and honestly, our organization and our community has stepped forward. We had uh, several companies that have stepped forward and sponsored our jerseys. The next big season coming up would be soccer, so we, we would just need some equipment to help with that and basketball. Basketball is going to be the inaugural year next year. It would be our first year, so 
basketballs for each kid, jerseys, maybe the goals that go over that extend a little lower, just some equipment like that or some things that we're looking to purchase. And so where can businesses get a hold of you in, if, in order to sponsor? I know that you have a Facebook page. Is, do you have a website? Is there a phone number? We have a, a Facebook page, Champions. Uh, it was Champions Baseball. Now it's just Champions. And you know you can reach out to one of us or reach out to somebody on there. And we have, uh, or you can mail a check if you need, you know, to the city of Portland. They handle all our funds, so all our funds are regulated, sure. and uh, you know, it's it's going to a good cause. So, good so cause. let me ask you a question: If there's an organization out there, say a law firm or or a business that wants to sponsor your T-shirts or uniforms, they can have their logo on it. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. yes. There yes, you sir. go. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we we wait, have wait, a wait banner. Mark. We have a banner. We put all their sponsors' names on the banners and. Uh, very we, good. We, we put that up on during the games. Very good. Once again, what's the number and how do we get a hold of you guys? You can like us on Facebook or honestly get a hold of the city of Portland and they, they'll get in touch with us. Just ask for champions mm -hmm. information, yes, right? Yep. Well, thank you so much. You're thank to be you. commended for what you do uh, you. and to all the champions in, right. in South Texas. Uh, thank you for doing what you do. We appreciate yes, this sir. so much. Thank you. And come back and be on Domingo Live to have you sure. here for soccer season when it starts yes, up. Right? And the next, <laughs> and the next uh, types of sports yeah. as well. We'd love to promote them as well. We appreciate it. Thank you, you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.